Hello, welcome to Children's Sermon. It's good to see you, Lily. Good to see you, Jack. It's uh, great to have you up here, uh, all of you, uh, ready for our Children's Sermon. So I'm going to do it today, and when I get to do Children's Sermon, I usually uh, pull out something from the red bag, but I don't have the red bag. Uh, Maybe if we could count to three, the red bag will just appear somehow. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, there we go. We have a red bag. Let's see what's in it and what lesson we might be able to get from what we have inside the bag. Okay? There's a bag inside a bag. An eclipsed bag inside a bag. I love clothespins. You all love clothespins? All right. Jeremy, will you hold that? Thank you. All right. Well, inside our paper bag, there is a purple pipe cleaner. And there are... One, two red balls and some, what do you call this stuff? Glittery, shiny stuff? Tinsel. Tinsel, we hear from off the, out of the crowd. That's good. Tinsel and a couple of bills. Well, that is so cool. Our bag inside of our bag. And I, th- I think of all the different things we could make with this if we, if we had the time and the place. Or maybe you can think of, of some of those things. Maybe you can take some things in your house and make together but if I just take these and just wrap this pipe cleaner around and just wrap this back around and then kind of tie it and just like that throw some of our tinsel on top there you go and we got the bells I like the sound of that Look at that. We made a nice little friend. A nice little friend who has trouble keeping his bells in place. But we all have our struggles. So I would name my friend Eugene. And now I get to keep my friend Eugene. You know, it gets me to thinking about... I'm going to put Eugene back in the back. No, don't put me in the back. Oh, come on, Eugene. And <laughs> um, I put that back there. You know, it makes me think of something really important. I'm going to be honest with you. I like doing the lesson in the bag, but right before I open it, I get a little nervous. In some ways, you could say I get a little scared. You guys ever get scared? Yeah. And then today when I opened it up and there was a bag inside the bag, I was even a little more scared because I didn't know what I'd find when I took that that clothespin off. But I went ahead and opened it because you all were here expecting me to open it, and I wanted to do that for us. And I opened it and I saw something really fun inside. One of the things that I think about when we talk about what God has to teach us is how God helps us through fear. There's a chapter in the Bible called Psalm 23 that talks about how we don't have to fear because just like a shepherd, you guys know what a shepherd is, it's somebody who takes care of sheep, just like a shepherd leads the sheep through things, God leads us through things. And sometimes there's things that get in our way, things that we didn't expect Uh, to happen. Uh, Maybe somebody we love gets sick. Maybe um, things we were hoping to do we don't get to do for some reason. Maybe just things change in our life and none of us, uh, old people, young people, and people in between, none of us like change. And sometimes we can think, well, if I could go around those things, if, if God would take his sheep around those things, that would be easier. If I could just miss them altogether. But sometimes God talks, God walks us through them. In fact, that Psalm 23 says that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and death is something that can be pretty scary sometimes, or just thinking about it, we walk through it. God walks us through it. So just how we went through with opening the bag and found something uh, that was kind of fun and exciting and different, when God takes us through things and we trust God, we don't have to fear. And we know that on the other side, there might be something we didn't expect and it might be something good uh, and exciting. So my encouragement to you kids is to trust God and to go through things and know that God is with us. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that no matter what we face, even when things are different, we can trust you and we don't have to have fear. We don't have to be afraid. I pray for all the kids who are watching this video and uh, their families too, that you would help them to not fear, that you would help them to trust you as we go through this together. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Have a great day.